you could tell me about getting through flight school, because I know in Afghanistan it's hard for women to choose a career that um, put you in danger. So tell me what it was like, what got you through flight school? Um, it was not that easy. It was many challenging, many risks for me and my family life. And uh, it, it has to be someone to change it. It has to be someone to accept this risk. If I say I don't, who's gonna be it? Who's gonna start? If I don't start it now, when I'm gonna start it? That's why it was like, when I was a child, I, I never had an idea who's pilot, and I didn't know. But uh, my father, he loves to be a pilot, but according to some issues, he couldn't complete his dream. And I was always disappointed me that when I was hearing his, his story, and I was like, okay, it will be one day that I will complete your dream. I will be pilot, and I will, I will make you proud. I think now this is the day that I made him really proud. That's awesome. You said the. Um you said something really awesome. You said that someone had to accept the risk. Yeah. Um, and you were only 18 when you made the decision. Like, for someone so young, how did you say, this is the risk and I'm willing to take it? Um, I was 17 when I graduated high school. At the age of 18, it was always, I was done with everything. And I went through the officer training and graduated as a second lieutenant. And it was like very hard very hard situation for me because I was the youngest one between all the Air Force and the military people and I was like when I faced with the problems I think that made me strong facing with problems that gives me power because I know I was not as strong maybe the first day that I came in I think this all problems this all risk this all threats that made me a strong person that like shows me like more view of this world, these people, and that encouraged me a lot. Alright, okay, and my last question is, what message do you have to the young girls around the world who are looking at your story and what hmm. words do you have for them? I just want to encourage them. I want to, because they born once, they die once. It's better to be, to, to believe themselves, to have a more self-confidence. Just trust them, it doesn't matter. They never look at themselves as a woman, they should look at themselves as a human and go for what they want, like, yeah, that, that's what I want to say is like, never, never watch themselves as a woman. Just see, we are a human. Doesn't matter if you're a man or if you're a woman. Just believe yourself and do whatever you want to do. Just self-confidence. <laughs>